Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of the Fly a Week segment. We'll be tying a different fly, targeting different species of fish um, every week. Uh, this week we're going to be targeting steelhead because the run's coming up. So we're going to go over, you know, basic fly tying and uh, these are pretty simple to do. We'll be tying these green ones right here and you can tie in different colors depending on what materials you have. Uh, it's pretty easy fly to do, doesn't take very long. So I figured we start out with that and some of the basics. So we'll go over some of the materials that we need. All right, so first for materials, I'll give you a little bit of a look at these. We're gonna be tying these deer streamers. And uh, what you're gonna need is obviously your tools. You're going to need a pair of scissors for trimming, your bobbin for your thread, your whip finisher. Uh, we're gonna be using, it's actually a size 10 eagle claw with the wide bend. For hooks, I like to stay around this size for this fly. Um, your biggest thing is make sure that you get the ones with the, the bare shaft. Make sure it doesn't have the barbs on it. That'll cut your thread while you're tying it. Um, we have our different colors of deer hair. We have blue, pink, green, orange, and we'll be using the green for this. Um, your different colors of tinsel, which we have the solid green, um, a little bit lighter of a green and a white and then obviously your thread which will be tying in a flow green so we'll get started here all right so we're going to start with the the bear hook obviously now that we have our bobbin all laced up uh, we're going to go ahead and start wrapping all right so we're just going to begin wrapping uh, the entire length of the shaft here and since this is a wet fly you can pretty much cover the entire thing and it's not going to affect anything I actually prefer it for my wet flies because it kind of helps it uh, hold the materials together a little bit better okay so now that we wrapped the entire length of the hook and came back stopped just forward a halfway oh, maybe I can turn this so you can see it we're just about a little over halfway um, on the, uh, the shank of the hook. So at this point we're going to take our tinsel and I'm just going to pinch off just a little bit. You don't need too much. We'll trim these down at the end so get about, about that length. You don't really don't need a whole lot of it as you can see. And you just pull it off cut right at your fingertips and now we'll tie this in alright so to tie this in just bring it right up here to where you stopped your thread and give it like I don't know, two or three wraps and then you're just going to cinch it down pull down a little bit you'll see the end start to stick up just like that and you're going to grab just about the same amount of deer hair. Pull a little bit of that off. We're going to tie that in. It's about the same spot. Same thing, you're going to give it like two or three wraps. And then pull it tight. Kind of cinch it down. And you can kind of roll it, spread it out a little bit. Now all you're going to do is take from here and you wrap all the way to the eye of the hook. And then you use your whip finisher to tie it off. So now you grab your whip finisher now that we're at the eye. Pull some thread and finish it off. Go 
We're going to trim off some of this excess around the back of the fly. And there you go. So if you're fishing a little murkier water, um, you can tie these a little bit bigger to make them pop. Um, you can, you know, make the deer hair and the tinsel a little longer. You can put a bead up front if you'd like it to sink a little faster. Um, thanks for checking in for this first week's episode. Like I said, we'll be coming out with another episode next week, which I think Kyle is tying. So we don't even know what fly it is yet. It's kind of a, a mystery to all of us. So be looking out for that. Obviously, we're going to post it, share it. Just follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for tuning in.